This is the New York Living Health Report. Many people have seen the wonders of laser vision correction, but there are still some with bad vision who don't benefit from the procedure until perhaps now. As New York One Health reporter Cheryl Wills tells us, there's a new laser technology that helps more people than ever. They're going to treat an area of your, of your cornea bigger than your pupils. It took some time for Mildred Hernandez to work up the nerve to get laser vision correction surgery for her farsightedness, but when she was finally ready, she got some unexpected news. I have a larger cornea um, opening, and with the regular laser, it won't get the whole thing. Hernandez's large cornea prevented her from having laser surgery because the standard laser is not designed for a cornea that size. But she can still have her farsightedness corrected thanks to a new technology called the Flying Spot Laser. Dr. Joseph De La Russo uses it at his Upper East Side practice. It also tracks eye movements. So the, uh, it is a scanning flying spot mm -hmm. and tracking laser. Here's what happens during the procedure. After putting some numbing drops in the eyes, Dr. De La Russo begins by using this device to make a flap in the eye. And we'll unravel it like that. Dr. De La Russo then pulls that flap back and positions the laser so it can lock onto the eye and move with it, unlike traditional surgery where the laser beam does not move at all. No matter where the eye looks, the laser doesn't care because it's going to go along, move along with the eye in case the person is not looking in the right, right spot. That clicking sound is the laser beam reshaping the cornea, and it takes about 90 seconds per eye. Many people who have laser vision surgery complain of glare and halos at night, but Dr. De La Russo says the new flying spot laser eliminates all of that. But getting better results because of the, the, uh, the scanning smooth the laser and because the eye track is treating the area that's supposed to treat and eliminating the problems that you have with nighttime vision. Studies submitted to the FDA show the flying spot laser can completely correct farsightedness and nearsightedness with or without astigmatism in about 90% of patients, so long as the eyes are healthy. Though if you use reading glasses, you will still need them. Mildred Hernandez's vision was improved right away, even though it was still a little blurry. I can actually see the direction that your eyes are looking at. I, even this distance, I wasn't able to see whether you were looking at me or past me. The flying spot laser costs about $3,000 for both eyes, and it is not covered by any insurance. In Manhattan, Cheryl Wills, New York One.